Welcome to Ready, Set, Question, a place where we are dedicated to building faith one question at a time. This video is the fourth video in a series with the same question of, can we trust the authenticity of the Bible? So let's dive in. Jesus equals truth. And the key to understanding the truth and authenticity of the Bible is Jesus. So I've come up with these cartoon characters. We've already covered Jay, which is Jeremiah Jones, the Jewish archeology span expert, that shows that all the names, dates, and places in the Bible check out. The second letter in the name of Jesus is E, and it stands for the 11 lied and were afraid until something happened. Stories from outside the Bible is the third letter in the name of Jesus. And today we're gonna to be focusing on U, the fourth letter of the name of Jesus, which stands for the umbrella of truth, prophecies that have come true. There's no other book quite like the Bible. It was written over thousands of years by over 40 different authors. It's truthful in the past, in the present, and in the future. Centuries before Jesus of Nazareth, prophets foretold of the Messiah. More than 300 prophecies point to Jesus Christ. For example, Micah 5.2 says, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. He took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Now, if Isaiah 53, 4, and 5 were not at the top of this page, many people would think that this was a verse straight out of the New Testament. But Isaiah was written centuries before Christ was born, and centuries before the Roman Empire was founded, and centuries before crucifixion was even invented. Daniel 9:26 the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler will come and will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end and desolations have been decreed. In this verse, Daniel speaks of the anointed one, the Messiah, and how he will be put to death. And this will all happen before the city and the sanctuary, meaning the second temple, will be destroyed. You see, prophecies are the umbrella of truth. We can look into the past, the present, and the future, and prophecies are impossible to fake. The mathematical probability of Jesus fulfilling only eight of the 300 plus prophecies is like finding a red painted half dollar in a sea of half dollars 18 inches deep covering the entire state of Texas. On the first try, of course. I hope these characters are helping you remember the authenticity of the Bible and why we know it's true. Next time, we'll be diving into the second S in the name of Jesus. And this is so important because followers of Christ have confident hope that has been reasonably investigated that gets stronger when tested. And that spells Christ. Thanks for joining me this time on Ready, Set, Question. We are dedicated to building faith one question at a time. Some people believe that since Jesus was studying scripture from the age of a young boy, that he tried to fulfill the prophecies to make himself look like the Messiah. So here's a question for you. Could you have chosen the city you were born in in order to fulfill a prophecy? If you'd like to learn more and dive into more topics I've covered, please visit my website at readysetquestion.com. And thank you so much to Ben Sound for the amazing music. Much love and Godspeed.